Welcome back students to the lecture series on introduction to AWS. As part of this lecture series, we will be focusing on uh, monitoring, debugging, shutting down, changing the size of a virtual machine. Basically, uh, when you are working on some EC2 instance and uh, suddenly you may getting certain errors, then you can debug uh, through the log files, where exactly what is going wrong. At the same time, you can monitor the EC2 instances such as if you are uh, deploying uh, some uh, service uh, and if you want to store more data than which is been provisioned such as if you had a provision only at GB2 and EC2 instance. But if you are trying to store more than the available such as 10 GB, then you can monitor uh, the performance of a particular instance. At the same time, uh, coming to shutting down, we, uh, we are going to see how to start an instance, how to stop an instance, how to terminate an instance, all these three and what is the difference between starting, stopping and terminating. And lastly, how can we change this? How can we increase the capacity of our EC2 instance? That is how to change the size of an EC2 instance. Let us look at this. Yeah. Now, if I want to monitor such as uh, this one, Docker KMIT test, if I want to monitor uh, this particular instance, then we do have something said to be monitor, where you can uh, monitor various things. You can monitor various things such as uh, network in, network out, network packets in, network packets out, CPU utilization and so on so forth. If you want, you can enhance the, you can scale up the screen resolution where you can see in uh, seconds per every second or else uh, minutes as well as uh, one day and previous seven days as uh, this instance is launched recently. So, I do not have any record of previous seven days, but I can go with one minute how the instance is using the CPU power. This is how you can monitor your instance. At the same time, if uh, some errors are going to be occurring, then how can we debug? Just select the instance which you want to debug, uh, click on actions, monitor and troubleshoot, get system logs where you are going to get the system logs from the starting of this particular EC2 instance, what various operations you have done, such as address changing and so on, routing and so on and so forth. All these logs you can verify when you want to debug a particular EC2 instance. Getting back to our AC2 instance dashboard. Yeah. The next thing is how to stop. If you want to stop uh, this particular server, click on uh, select that particular EC2 instance, click on uh, instance type. As the instance is running, so start instance is being disabled, click on stop instance. Stop. Now, what happens over here is uh, the instance is being transforming uh, from when it is started, it is being in running state. When you are stopping this instance, the instance gets stopped, shut down, that is it. 
but if uh, you are going to terminate a particular instance select the instance instance type terminate if you are terminating the instance it does means that the instance is getting destroyed you will never going to be accessing this particular docker kmit instance because once the instance got terminated there is no mechanism to retrieve that particular instance back so be cautious whether you want to terminate a particular instance or whether you want to stop an instance if you want to just refresh the thing i had uh, click on stop or terminate sorry terminate terminate and uh, if you want to start your instance select a instance which is already stopped go to the instance state start the instance and we do have one more state that is said to be reboot reboot is a state uh, where uh, if your ec2 instance get stuck or hang then you can reboot your machine by just selecting the running instance clicking on reboot instance it will just turn off and turn on your machine successfully rebooted it is a fra in fraction of milliseconds it gets rebooted so my demo server is running so all these are the states where uh, you can stop an instance if the instance is already uh, uh, running in an running state if the instance is stopped then you can start the instance if uh, the instance got uh, hook up at certain point of time then you can reboot your instance at the same time if you are no more requirement in that particular instance or a service then you can terminate the instance and one more point which we are going to discuss is how to change the size of a particular instance if you want to change the size of a particular instance then that instance needs to be in a stopped state you cannot change the size of an instance when it is in running state neither you cannot change the size of an instance when it is in terminated state you can change the size of an instance only and only when the instance is in stopped state such as uh, if you are focusing over here then you can see that uh, docker kmit is of t2 micro as well as uh, my demo server is of t2 micro the size of the instance let's check through command prompt mm, i cannot connect to it okay the instance state is uh, stopped let's uh, change the instance state mm get into actions select the instance to which you want to change the size uh, click on actions instance settings change instance type and over here you can change the uh, t2 micro to some c4 4x extra large and uh, immediately it says that when you are using your t2 micro these are the charges which are being incurred when you are shifting to t3 c3 4x large c3 is a family computing optimized then you will be charged per hour this much cents of dollars if you do agree then apply so my demo server has been changed its state c4 c3 extra and uh, you can see that i had not selected any of the virtual machine so nothing is been highlighted as soon as i select this then i can start my instance i am going to change the instance type for here i'll be going with uh, t2 large 
T2 large from T2 micro. Scrolling down, apply. So it has been changed to T2 large, my demo service. Select the server, instance type, start your instance. Once the state gets into running, we will connect and we will check the CPU cores as well as the memory. Yeah, my demo server is running. Connect to it just through SSH, copying, opening the command prompt, changing to downloads, hit enter. Got connected to our EC2 instance to check the memory free space hyphen m we are getting 8 gb of memory if you want to check the cpu cores then type cat proc cpu info you can see that cpu cores are two two cpu cores with 8 gb of ram that's it from this particular session thank you